So I believe we're going to do one more example involving determinant slope of an equation. So I got an equation in the form of 5x plus 3y is equal to negative 6. Again, my, my directions are basically to determine the slope of this equation. Uh, again, one strategy is if I can solve that equation for y, that coefficient of x is going to be our slope. And we've solved for y before. So remember, our, uh, to solve for y, we just got to zero pair that x term and multiply or divide to solve for y. So when it looks like this, our first maneuver is to go after this x term. Since it's a 5x, we use its zero pair, which is a negative 5x. We put that on each side. The negative five, the five x, the negative five x, zero out. I have three y is equal to these. Act, these aren't actually like terms. So a negative five x and a negative six just stays as a negative five x and a negative six. I can't really put those together. They're not like terms. So I zero that. I got this. Now to make that three disappear, we've got multiplication. So it's telling me to divide by three. And when I do this, just divide each term over here by three. So I have y is equal to then a negative 5x, I'm sorry, negative 5 thirds x, but 3 does go into 6 twice, so that's going to be a minus 2. So I have solved for y. Therefore, I know that the coefficient in front of x, that negative 5 thirds, is indeed my slope. So m is going to equal then a negative 5 thirds. So your slope is going to equal negative 5 thirds. Because remember, again, m in algebra, a lot of times it's going to be associated with slope. So you'll see that notation a lot of time where this kind of means slope is equal to a negative 5 thirds. And we've achieved our goal. We found our slope. And I'm not going to verify that one. I'm feeling pretty good about our math. So that's what you can do sometimes, kind of, kind of roll the dice, if you will. So um, I believe that com completes that part of the lesson. Let's see what I have uh, up next. I'm not really 100% sure, so stay tuned.